This thing is awesome. I am super stoked to have this. So thank you again to uh, Pandemonium for sending this my way. It's, it's insane. I cannot believe how much fun messing around with this chronograph is. Uh, I did a couple chronograph tests, uh, one of which was just with the stock fire strikers to make sure that the sensors were reading properly. And uh, the cool thing is I can put the footage, or the, the footage, I can put the FPS readings right there. We'll do it there. And uh, I can save because I can sync this with my phone, run it through the app, and get all the information in there, which is awesome. So after I did the fire strike, I uh, ran my, uh, one of my strifes through that I used at our 5v5 day, uh, our King of the Hill uh, BTA game over the weekend and got some numbers that seemed about right. It's running a 41.5 cage with Kraken motors and uh, white worker wheels. Not the high crush versions, I don't believe, but the standard worker wheels. I wanna say maybe I'm wrong. It's, I can't remember exactly, but either way, worker wheels um, and AccuFakes. So it's running a little bit hotter than it was over the weekend when I was using men guns because those were heavier darts but uh, I didn't want to just burn a bunch of those because they're a little bit more expensive. So I, I just, I love this thing. I'm super stoked about it. I love all the little details. Like, let me, let me, let me, let me grab the phone and pull up the app. And just like, I can mess around with certain things in it. So like, I can, I can save the groups, the groupings uh, for them. And then I can go through and I can look at each individual shot. And uh, you see the first shot, actually I don't think you can see it, but the first shot was an error. And it'll show me, it'll show me each individual shot, show me the temperature outside, which is insane. And all, the, and all the standard stuff like your average FPS, the standard deviation, minimum shot, maximum shot, the spread, all of that stuff. If I wanted to measure the uh, darts per second of a, rap, uh, of a full auto blaster, it shows shot per second, so I could just shoot all the darts and it'll tell me, which is so cool. I'm sorry, just, I, I love this. I can add information and, and, and all that kind of stuff. It's just awesome. I, uh, I, I just, I can't, I can't put into words how excited I am to have this. So again, thank you to Pandemonium. I can now get back to uh, testing things once I get caught up on everything, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, this just, I, don't know, I feel like I could gush on this for, for quite a while. Um, it's a really interesting design. It's the first chronograph that I've seen that has the sensors going down. And I, I'm assuming this is to help uh, kind of keep things even. This has lights down here on the portions that you can light up if you're indoors or low light or something like that to help uh, keep things accurate. It's just, it's just awesome. I. It also doesn't use nine volt batteries like other ones. It has an internal battery that you charge. And there's a USB port that I can have uh, plugged in, I believe, to keep it running. And it should last up like 12 hours normally or something like that with the charge, which is, should be plenty for what we use it for at games. So I'm just, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, I can't say thank you enough, but it's also nice that I, I won't have to go into all my videos where I'm doing an FPS test for something and record every single FPS test. I can just take the data now and show the, the data on the screen, which is fantastic, a massive time saver. You also don't, don't have to do the calculations if you didn't uh, record the thing going through all the data. I, again, we're moving on because I, I could go on about this forever and I don't want to because I want you to add the, yeah. 
So something else I wanted to talk about today is the NG1 that was sent to me a little while back and I uh, have had spent a little bit of time with it and I want to talk just a little bit about it here. Um, I haven't gotten to do my full thoughts on it yet because I actually encountered a couple issues that I have uh, sent a message out to the creator to get some clarifications on and uh, kind of discuss some things and then I will share my thoughts again with you. But I feel it's important to let you know that I did encounter some issues. Um, that trigger pull that was the nicest trigger pull I've felt on a flywheel blaster, period, I think. Uh, the trigger's now stuck. So I can't, I have to like, oh, I can't even do it now. Um, yeah, the trigger is stuck and I don't know why. It's actually, oh, you know what? Okay, well that pushed it back. Yeah, I don't know what happened. It's like maybe a spring in here got messed up or something when I was firing it. Uh, but I'm waiting to hear back again from the creator. But that, like, the fact that you can pop this little thing up and get to the flywheels is pretty cool. Uh, flywheels are wider than flywheels we use on 130 size motors. But again, these are larger cans. They are not... Uh, 130, 132, 180s, they are a three, uh, 300 size, either 360 or 380, uh, something like that, I believe. But I like that he's given quick and easy access to them. And there's other things you can do. It's all held together by little screws where if you take this screw here off, I can flip this barrel up, which is nice. So it just makes for easier teardown and maintenance, which is nice. Um, I do have some concerns over the 3D printing, not that the quality is bad. It's actually pretty good quality for printing. Like he's even got texture on the grip here, 3D printed, and it, it feels nice. The issue is just that 3D printing is inherently not 100% smooth. So I had a dart get stuck in the barrel, I believe because it's just not smooth enough. And uh, perhaps the head of the AccuFake was too big for this barrel, maybe it's too tight, uh, and that may be leading to some inconsistent shots. Of course, I was going to do some FPS testing because I got the nice new Chrono set up, and as soon as I went to do that is when I had the issues with the trigger. Not when I was messing around with it before or anything like that, but, but of course right when I wanted to do the, the Chrono testing. So uh, as soon as I get that all situated and sorted, I will be coming back to this because there are a lot of cool things about this, but there's also things that I would like uh, to potentially see adjusted or changed or altered in some ways. Uh, but still, definitely interesting and I'm looking forward to getting it fixed and being able to try it again because like I said, that trigger pull was just so nice. It was just fantastic. Like I just, I wanted that on my Strife because it, it felt so good. Uh, but regardless, just wanted to give you a little update. We'll talk again once we, uh, once I get a update from the creator and we'll go from there. Because we didn't have enough things on our list of videos to get done and things to talk about, well, Thundercrunk sent me home with this after Saturday's 5v5 games. Those of you who don't know what this is, this is a Chimera. This is from Northeast Nerf Designs or Northeast Designs. Um, and we have to play with it now. So this isn't my video on it just yet, but I want to let you know that there is going to be one coming. So this has a, oh, this has a beefy spring in it. It's got a long shot spring in here now and it's, it's a fat one. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna have some fun with this. So you can look forward to that. I know I am. And then if you aren't a patron, we did have a poll that finished up on the Patreon to see what our next project was going to be. And in case you missed it, I may have mentioned it earlier, but just in case we are going to be doing the Fabu Kronos. We have plenty here to work with and I'm excited to get to it. So that's going to get underway pretty soon and hopefully I'll be able to share that with video with you in the near future. So with that said, if you're new to the channel, you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that subscribe button for more in the future. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jangular and I'll see you next time.